Hey everyone, today I'm starting on a client build with what's going to be a pretty interesting look. Now I've got some friends who have older computers and they're just tired of trying to deal with the crashes and not being able to play the latest games. Uh, especially it's, it's really difficult. We all play around in Discord and you know everyone loves up GTA 5 and they can't live GTA 5 because their computer can't handle it. So it, it really sucks and they've decided that it's time to upgrade. And so we sat down and chatted, kind of discussed some of the options of what we can do with the system and what they want. Um, now they're not real particular about looks. I mean if it's a box with a computer in it they're fine with it. But I wanted them to have a really cool looking computer. So uh, we sat down, we came up with uh, an idea very similar to my crevice build. So it's the Inwin 303 with tempered glass. Uh, and we're going to do a blue and white theme. So I got the white variant. And uh, we're going to take the, uh, the interior that's black right now, switch this over to blue. All the hardware is blue and white theme. So uh, that'll all go together. And I think it'll look really awesome. Plus, I've gotten a few surprises to throw in on them. Uh, some of the stuff I haven't told them about, uh, they think they're just kind of getting a system with a few painted parts, but that's not what's going to happen. So um, let's go ahead and get this interior pulled out, get it turned blue, and that way we can get on to the cooler stuff, the hardware and the surprises. All right, so we've got this thing all taken apart. Um, I did have to break the case down to get the interior sections out, but you know, that happens. Uh, I went ahead and roughed everything up with a red scotch bright pad so the paint would stick and it had something to bite onto. And then I went and blew it all off with the air compressor and hit it with a tack cloth. So this should be in pretty good shape and ready for some primer. Now primer wise, I'm going to be using white primer because I'm going over this with a blue and I want that blue to really pop. So uh, we'll take a few extra coats of, of blue to kind of make sure that white doesn't come through. But when we're all said and done, that blue is really going to look sharp. So. Uh, I guess now we'll throw some paint on it and then we'll come back and throw it back together. So we've got the color change done and that blue came out great in this case. I, I really like how that looks. Uh, but you're probably not looking at the case. You're probably wondering about the pile of blue fur that's, that's here. And, and yes, it's very, very soft blue fur. It's a yard of fake blue fur. That uh, I've had this idea for a while now of using fur on a case because, I don't know, I thought it would be kind of cool. Uh, to make a pettable case, you know, where you come home and you fit your case and, you know, I, this is probably a little weird, but uh, it's also fun and it's also different. So I thought, why not try it now? So we've got the blue to match our case. And basically what we're going to do is use some adhesive, some uh, like a upholstery adhesive to adhere this down to the case. We're only going to do the top and the front. I thought about the side and the back, but with the vents, I'm not really sure how to work this stuff around there to make it look like something. So we're going to do the top and the front, and I'm still going to have to figure out what I'm going to do on the edges as far as if I'm going to have to roll them or if I'm going to leave this lip open and not cover that. But that's a bridge we'll cross when we get to it. For now, we're going to cut a strip, get it glued on, and see what it looks like. And that's putting fur on a case. Uh, pretty simple, actually. I used uh, 3M Super 77 adhesive, which basically you spray it on, let it get tacky, and stick it together. Uh, and then just a razor knife to trim the edges. Uh, you'll notice I did tape off the whole case because that stuff goes everywhere. It, it was all over my table. Uh, so you want to tape up the case so you're not cleaning adhesive off of every part on the inside. Uh, but it came out really well. There's a little bit of detail work left in the front for the I.O. But beyond that, I think it's pretty well done. Um, and we're almost ready for hardware and, and luckily enough it's not shedding real bad. I think I might have to hit it with a shop vac just to kind of clean it up a bit. But uh, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with how it turned out. Uh, kind of makes me want to have one of my own. So uh, I guess next step is hardware so we'll start piecing it all together and then hopefully we'll have a finished mod. And now with all the hardware and this is ready to ship off to my friend. Uh, I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. The fur came out amazing. It's super soft. I think it looks good. Uh, it was way easier to put on than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be a lot more 
more of a pain, uh, but it turned out to be very, very simple. Uh, interior came out pretty much the way I wanted. I did have to flip the GPU back to regular mount just for cooling. Um, sometimes you've got to give up a little bit of that mod look to get good usability in these cases. So uh, I want them to have a good user experience and never have trouble with it. So we went back with just a standard setup. Um, other than that, on the inside, I'm pretty happy. The, the fan controller has to be swapped out. Uh, it's not working with the board, but I hear that there's a fix for it. Uh, and that will let us go in and, and actually control the, the RGB on these LED fans. The RGB on these, yeah, RGB on these LED fans. On these RGB LED fans. Um, but we can control it and set it up to match the color scheme. This doesn't look bad, but it's not really what I was going for. Uh, but that'll be up to them. I mean, it's their computer, so they can set it up how they want. So I'm going to throw up some beauty shots of this beast and the specs with them. So while you're looking at those, you can check out the specs and that's all I've got. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see what's up next, hit the subscribe button. If you want to leave me a comment, shoot me something down in the comments and folks, that's all I've really got. So until I see you next time, get out there and mod something.